Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a video on what you really need to add to your baby registry. I am so excited to be partnering with Pottery Barn for this video. When they reached out to me about partnering, I was so excited because they asked the right girl. I am first of all a shopaholic and I did a ton of research on all the recommended baby products. I also did a lot of product testing, so I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorites today. I also already have a lot of the products from their website, so it just totally made sense. Pottery Barn Kids makes it easy to design and create your registry. There's even an app available on your phone. There's also free guides, registry help services, and an interactive checklist. You can browse must-have registry items, and there's even an in-store scanning tool. All of their furniture is Green Guard Gold certified and safety tested, which you know is so important when shopping for items for your baby. I feel like there's a lot to go through, so without further ado, let's just get started. I wanted to start off with some Pottery Barn exclusives, starting with these towels. These are so cute. <laughs> these were actually added to our registry um, and our friend Michelle got these for us. These are little baby towels with a little hood. This one, is, this one is the hippo and this one is the elephant. They're just like the perfect size for a baby and so soft. And then I also just recently got the fawn one. How cute is this? I also got his name monogram in the back. So freaking cute. So now he has three. They're literally the perfect size. He looks so cute wrapped up in them and I love these so much. So Teddy's nursery is woodland themed and I got the Dakota woodland crib sheet and also the quilt. It is so cute, made with organic cotton and super soft. Also got the Dakota woodland muslin travel play mat. We have a few different mats, but I really love this one because it has these handle straps you can fold this up and take it on the go. It's super convenient for when we go visit my family and I can just take this with us. And then Teddy has a place to lay down and hang out. You just fold it up like this and then Velcro them together. And then it comes out like a little tote that you can easily carry. Okay, next I wanted to talk about this plush rocker. It's so stinking cute. So I actually had this added to my registry and no one bought it. So I ended up getting it for myself. This is the fox one. I actually originally um, had the bear one added, but I thought the fox was so cute. I feel like it's not only a toy for Teddy, but it also adds to the decor in here. So it fits into the woodland nursery theme and it's just super cute. I didn't do it here, but you can also add some monogramming to the wooden uh, part right here. Speaking of bears, this is the My First Anywhere chair and the bear. It's so stinking cute. This was on our registry and our friend Victor and Jeannie got this for us. I wanted Teddy's room to feel like a kid's room, so adding all these animals and characters just really adds to it and makes it feel more fun. You can also add personalization here and make it monogrammed. I regret not doing it. I didn't really have anything monogrammed or with my name on it when I was a kid, so I didn't see the specialty in it. But Josh's family came, to, or Josh's parents came to visit us a few months ago, and his mom brought a few items from his childhood that had his name on it, and I thought it was so cute and special. So now I just want Teddy to have a few special items with his name on it so he can remember and have it forever. Okay, next are these little lamb critter items. These are so cute. I kind of have an obsession with lambs, and I wanted to, Teddy to have a few lamb items. This is their little thummy. This is so soft. He loves like just holding this and rubbing this against his cheek. This is their pacifier holder. It makes it easy for him to find his pacifier once he's dropped it. And it's just so cute for him to like grab onto his little hands, grabbing onto the little limbs of this, <laughs> this lamb. And then this is just the plush. I mean, let's be real. This one's kind of just for me because it's so cute. Next, we have this cable knit heirloom blanket. It's got a little sheep in the corner right here. I also got Teddy's name monogrammed on the other side as well. I feel like you can't have too many blankets when they're babies because babies can't regulate their body temperature. So it's really important to just keep them warm. We have blankets like all over the house just in case we're sitting down and need one. This one is super soft and has like a plush Sherpa on the other side. And then it's just the cute cable knit detail on the other side. All of these items are exclusive to Pottery Barn and so great to have on your registry. If you're expecting, definitely add them. And if you're not expecting, they're definitely good gifts to give to people that you know they're expecting or soon to be moms and dads. Okay, let's get into some more of the big ticket items as I like to call them. They're just like the more expensive items that are good to add to your registry so that people can spoil you and get them for you. This is the Nuna Leaf Grow Baby Seat. We have quite a few things from Nuna. I mean, they make such amazing baby products. But I love this seat because it's so chic looking. It's super comfortable. Teddy just kind of nestles in there. I can put him down in here when I need to get something done real quick and he loves just hanging out. It sways with just a light push and it's just really sturdy. I mean, you can use this 
until your baby is 130 pounds, which is crazy. <laughs> so I guess that's why they call it the grow, because it literally will grow with your baby. Next item is the Nuna Cena Air Travel Crib. This may be an extra item that you might not need, but we are a family that plans to travel a lot. We do travel a lot. So we wanted a perfect travel crib for him to safely sleep in. We love going to like Palm Springs or Santa Barbara. So it's really easy to pack this in our road trips and bring this along with us. It works great for a bassinet for him to sleep in, but when he's bigger and is a little bit more mobile, we can lower the mattress and just have him play safely in there. Okay, let's talk about our car seat. You definitely should be adding a car seat to your registry you cannot leave the hospital without one this one is the nuna pippa light rx we love nuna car seats they make really great ones and their safety ratings are really good i believe this is their lightest car seat it's only seven pounds and this one is recommended by a lot of our mom friends i love it so far all of our nuna items are in the color hazelwood but they also make a droplet dot taupe that's so cute and exclusive to pottery barn i'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out and shop next i want to talk about our bassinet we actually had a crib already set up in teddy's nursery but for the first four months of his life we actually room shared so having a bassinet is so convenient for nighttime feedings because you have to get up so often to feed him. We had the Happiest Baby Snoo Bassinet, which is a smart bassinet that actually connects to your phone via an app. It tracks your progress, it detects when the baby cries, and it gently rocks the baby to sleep and soothes him or her. I think this is a polarizing one because I've heard of a lot of babies that didn't love it, but Teddy loved this thing. So Josh and I loved this thing too. <laughs> it just worked out so well for our family. We used it the second we got home from the hospital and it, I feel like it just made the nights so much easier for us. I've definitely heard from other parents that they loved this thing. It is a bit of a pricier item, so it is good to add to your registry. We actually purchased this one ourselves, but we have zero regrets because it really, we just loved it. It was chef's kiss. Another big ticket item I wanted to talk about is the stroller. This is a really great item to add to your registry because you kind of need one almost immediately. We have the Bugaboo Fox 5 stroller and we love it so much. It's just so chic and sleek and comfortable for Teddy. It has these huge wheels that just make for such a smooth ride for him. We used the bassinet attachment for the first few months of his life and then we graduated to the seat at about five months. I love taking them for walks in the neighborhood and we have kind of bumpy roads and sidewalks around our neighborhood so the big wheels make it super comfortable and we just love it. It also comes with an adapter so we were able to use our Nuna car seat on the stroller so it made it really convenient for like a super quick run to the grocery store. It's just great. Okay guys we're almost through just a few more items. I wanted to get into my nursing pillow. I love having a nursing pillow. I had three different kinds. I had the My Breast Friend, I had the Snuggle Me, and then I had this one from Butter and let me tell you this one was the best one. My favorite one. It's made of this natural latex foam. It's super plush and soft but still firm and the cover is made of organic cotton and just easily zips off if you need to throw it in the wash. This one is so nice. I cannot recommend this enough. The other two I tried and didn't love. The Snuggle Me didn't stay in place very well. It's very thick and dense and too hard, I think. And also the My Rest Friend one was fine. It would stay in place because it buckled, but I think it was just really bulky and was only great for when Teddy was really tiny. So like maybe that first month or two that he was back from the hospital. This is the Ubi diaper pail. It's made of steel and meant to lock in odors. There is gonna be a lot of dirty diapers, so you're gonna need something strong and that can withhold all the smelly diapers. This one was recommended by a lot of other moms. It's so great. I love that you also don't need any special trash cans for it, just your standard trash can will do. We use this all the time, we love it, and it's great. This one is full of poop, so let's put it back where it was. Okay, lastly, there are a few items from Baby Brezza that I wanted to mention. I definitely think it's very nice to have a milk warmer on your registry, whether you're feeding breast milk or formula. It's so nice to just pop it in the bottle and put it in the warmer and have it just warm up for you within a few minutes. Baby Brezza makes a really great one and it just makes your life a little bit more convenient and easier. They also make a really great sterilizer and dryer that we have. Someone purchased that for us on our registry as well and we use it every single day. I sterilized like a maniac when Teddy was first born. Now I don't sterilize as much. I only sterilize like new items that we're bringing back, new bottles, new pacifiers, um, any new like breast pump parts that I buy. Now I still use it every day. I just hand wash and run the dryer setting so it just dries everything completely and it's so convenient and also just a really great item to have on your registry.
And lastly, you may not need this, but we also have the Baby Brezza Formula Maker Pro. I actually love it. Uh, we introduced formula at about six months and we have started weaning off of breast milk. So right now we're doing a hybrid of both, uh, like an equal part mix of both breast milk and formula. And it's basically a Nespresso for formula. It dispenses the formula at the exact measurements with precise amount of water it needs and it comes out warm and it's fast and it's just amazing. I love it so much. I mean, you definitely don't need it. You can obviously mix the formula yourself, but I find it very convenient and it just makes another thing a lot easier for us and just removes like extra steps. So I love it. Okay, so that is it for my must-have items for your registry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything I mentioned today will be available on Pottery Brand Kids. I'll link everything down below. If you're expecting, be sure to check it out and start creating your registry. It's I had so much fun making my registry and like marking off the checklist and seeing who bought us what. I just could not wait to receive the gifts. I just wanted to know like who bought us what right away. If you're not expecting, it's also just a great place to shop for anyone you know that's soon to be mom or dad or just having a baby shower coming up. As always, all the products will be linked down below. Let me know in the comment section if you think I missed any must-have items for your baby and we can have a whole chat and discussion because I just love talking about baby stuff. Thank you so much to Pottery Barn for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next.